Okay, we're looking at examples now of using uh, coordination to add variety to our sentences. And coordination is when we take two simple sentences and we connect them using a comma and a joining word. I have a couple of examples here on the board, but before I get into the examples, let's list the most common joining words. We kind of have a word bank to work with. Uh, the most common three that you're all familiar with, um, and, but, and or, but we also have uh, nor, for, yet, and so, but the first three are by far the most common. So let's look at the first example. I've got two simple sentences and let's think about the best way to combine them. Um, I knew the exam would be hard. I did not study. Doesn't sound like a good course of action, but how could we combine these two sentences to make one compound sentence? Well, one thing we could do is add a comma between them. I knew the exam would be hard. Let's take out this period and replace it with a comma. Now, we can't stop here because when we have two complete sentences joined with just a comma, we call that a comma splice. That's a form of run on and it's a grammatical mistake. So we can't stop here. We also need a joining word. I knew the exam would be hard but I did not study. Now that's not the only word that will work. Uh, as long as it makes sense, uh, it'll be grammatically correct. Now we also, we can't forget the comma. We can't just put the but there because this would be considered a run on sentence. We, both, we do need both that comma and the joining word in order for this to be correct. Let's do another example. My dog Chief is a rescue animal. He has lived with me for 10 years. So again, we have two simple sentences. Uh, let's find a way to join them together. First, erase that period, replace it with a comma, but we don't want this to be a comma splice, so let's pick one of our conjunctions down here. Let's just go with and. My dog Chief is a rescue animal, and he has lived with me for 10 years. Now also don't forget, in this case, we would need to change the capitalization, lowercase h in he. And so now we have a compound sentence. So these are some examples of how you can use coordination in order to add variety to your sentences.